Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blocker back again. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of how to use the Brylens LS1280 projector. I plugged it in just to see, you know, if everything worked, the if the light turned on. I have not turned it on, gone into the menu just yet. So I wanted to show you how it sounds and everything. Listen at the very beginning. It gets loud for a split second, then turns off. I don't know if you heard the fan just spin up real quick. The light's on. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the light's not on. It's light outside. You can see some light coming in. It's not dark at all. Most projectors will not work very well. Let's see what this one does. So, with the remote control. That's pretty bright. Again, it's daylight. It's on a brown wall, and you can't really tell it's brown on that screen. So right now, it doesn't have anything to show, no signal. But let's look through the menu a little bit. And let's make it a little bit bigger. So let's go into the menu. Okay. Color temperature natural or nature, sorry. Uh, we'll leave that alone. And uh, let's go back. Noise reduction, dynamic contrast. Oh. We won't see it here. Screen. <coughs> English or in English to change it to Spanish because I speak Spanish so I'll be able to understand it okay so Spanish if you can see it but let's go put it back to English because even though I could read Spanish and I speak Spanish I prefer English no signal color blue we'll leave it there general correction Notice how the picture changed a bit. Auto turnover. Ah, I see. I can put it in ceiling mode. So if it's hanging from the ceiling, the image is upside down. If it's hanging from the front ceiling... Ah, okay, so this is... If you're projecting on the rear of a projector screen. Pretty cool. Same thing here. But let's do front auto keystone is on but we can change the keystone which will change how this is tilted forward or back we'll bring it up and display mode is 2d let's see what happens in 3d You would need the uh, shutter lenses on this. I'll see if I can figure out some way a little bit later so that you can see it. But for right now, we'll go back to 2D. Okay. Sound. I didn't think it had speakers, but maybe it does. Temperature. Maybe that's what it is right now. And so it looks like we can update the uh, firmware on this. I don't have y uh, YDive, but I think I do have on one, if not two, of my tablets, Miracast. I'll show you that a little bit later. Time zone. We're not in Beijing. All right. So let's uh, now that we got that all set up. Right now it's looking for signal. So. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my thumb drive into 
a USB port right here. And I will choose the source. Well, that's pretty nice. Gives you a nice little menu. Let's do file. And this is a movie. This is Panyo. Very nice cartoon. I like it a lot. Actually, it's for my kids. Let's just say that. So, I went to it right here, and I'm going to click on it. Oh, i got to press play on here. Stupid me. It's pretty nice. The options here are previous, next, pause, rewind, fast forward, slow motion, repeat, and more stuff, but it went away. So let me go fast forward. This actually does have speakers. That's pretty nice. It's not a very high def movie. See what happens when I try to put it to 3D. I need the shutter lenses again. And actually, let me put them on real quick. These come with it. Let me see how it works. I see that it's working because it's bringing the image to one, but I myself can't see 3D. Um, I have double vision. So I figured maybe I'd give it a try, but you can see the quality here. So now it's been playing for some time. These things normally get hot real quick, but this is laser LED. So with this little guy, my infrared thermometer from ETEC City, the ETC 8550 I reviewed a while back. I'm going to scan it real quick so you can see. See that red dot? That's telling me the temperature. And let's see, find the hottest point. Should be around the lens. eighty three degrees Fahrenheit which is twenty eight point eight degrees Celsius so that's not bad at all does not feel hot at all a little bit warmer on the right hand side so this is probably fifty inches let's see the further I can go I think you guys can see it pretty well. So let me fast forward a bit. Okay, and looks like I'm gonna have to play a little bit with the warmth. Resolution. Let's pause it right here and check out that resolution again. 16 by 10, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 
Let's do 16 by 10. 16 by, oops, 16 by 9 better. Scalar. LED brightness. Okay. So did I press the wrong button? Whoops, I sure did. Let's see if I have to fast forward again. Oh yeah, look, look at that. Resume play. Yes, because I messed up. You'll be safe here, Fondio. I'll be back soon. Okay. Alright, so Alright, so you might have enough with Panyo, but what if you don't want to watch a movie? What if you want to play a game? What do the this and this have in common? Why a PS4? And funny enough, this projector has HDMI. So let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, going to switch over to that. And let me remove my thumb drive. Let's get out of here. Let's switch over to HDMI 1, I think I'm on. And let's turn on my PS4. Look at that. Alright. Let's go into my account. Hardline beta is over. It was fun. Uh, Alright, let's just play Injustice. So, pretty cool. I'm playing PS4 on my wall. Again, it's about 50 inches. But, this can get up to 200 inches. I can't show that to you right now, but I will, hint, hint. Maybe you want a little more audio than just that. You can use the Creative Roar. Awesome little thing, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Plug up the audio in, or aux in, sorry. Then I put it right over here so you guys can see it takes a second now plug this up on the side of your house get your friends to play get two of these controllers of course let's move it back Zoom in a little bit better. Superman. The Joker. I'm not going to play a real round. I just wanted to show you how awesome it's going to sound. Kind of really? That's coming from here. I think you underestimate me. Begin. Oh, come on, cheater. <laughs> That's using the bad Batman. Or is I'm Superman. Oh no, it's not. Colors are really washed out, but I should be able to fix that from here. Check a different character. There we go. Sorry, I kind of had it out of focus there. It's 
really sharp, man. Colors were a bit off, so that looks a lot better now. <laughs> now that's what I call an entrance. Let me get out of here because this doesn't do the game any justice. The mode that I'm playing makes the, the characters look a bit odd. This will help it a little bit. Just remember guys, this is in the daylight. It looks that good being in the daylight. Just wait till nighttime. I'm going to bring you some more video on this soon. I don't want to watch this. His money is green. And as a bonus, I get to kill Batman. Alright, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. That's about it for right now. Uh, anything else I can think of? So, showing you how it connects to a speaker, how it connects to HDMI, how it connects to USB. Pretty cool, there are more connections, but I'll show you a little bit more a little bit later on. But, just wanted to give you a, a better feel of this. I am very impressed. Again, not only can you connect it to that, but you can connect it to your PS4, and it looks great. And that's about 50 inches. Later on, I should be able to show you about 100 inches. Maybe I I can show you 200 inches. I don't know just yet, but uh, pretty cool stuff. This is Iggy with Dragon Blogger up.